Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at what artifacts and lightstones you should be running on Sorg for PvP. There are a couple of options for artifacts depending on if you play DR or Evasion Sorg. For DR, your only options are going to be really Magic Accuracy or AP, and for almost all players I'd recommend Accuracy until you have multiple Accuracy accessories. For Evasion, you can also choose these artifacts, but typically you want to take advantage of all the Evasion you can get and run all Evasion artifacts. So starting off, there are three budget options for PvP, and that's Enhanced Focus, Train Fist, and Centaurus for tankier evasion builds. Enhanced Focus and Train Fist are super similar in stats, but differ in accuracy and AP. Train Fist is going to be your AP focus set, while Enhanced Focus is going to be your accuracy focus build. So for evasion, Centaurus is great for beginners and helps you get a ton of evasion for a super cheap price that is really affordable and extremely efficient. So continuing with evasion, there are two really great options for defensive stats, and that's going to be Blur and Untouchable. I recommend Veteran and Confident Evasion Sorks to run Blur since it's going to increase your evasion DR a lot more, but it also removes your resistances, meaning you basically can't ever stand up from a CC. Untouchable, on the other hand, loses some evasion that Blur has, but you also gain special attack evasion and 200 HP. They're both very solid, but they come down to what you prefer and feel what fits you the best. Moving on to some more expensive and higher damage options, we have Stomping and Target Openings. Both these sets provide a great spread of stats like Accuracy, AP, and Stamina, but their last effect is a little bit different. So Stomping provides you additional down attack damage, while Target Openings is going to provide you critical damage. They're both great sets, and they even work for T1s and Cap Siege, although I think Target Openings definitely pulls the edge a bit, and you'll see that reflected in the price. So next Lightstone set is going to be an Iridescent set, and it's going to be the Wild Humans. So this one gives you only one stat, and it's just pure raw human damage. And it's great boosted damage, especially against like high DR targets. And I definitely recommend this if you feel like you don't see a lot of misses and aren't struggling with accuracy a lot. So high accuracy builds, or maybe if you just feel like you don't really fight evasion at all, this is a good build for you. So these last two sets are going to be the most expensive and the more high risk, high reward options for PvP. And that's going to be all out attack and maiming. So these are the final sets and they kind of share the same dynamic as train fist and target openings where one's the accuracy focus, the other one's the AP. So all out attack is going to be your AP focus while maiming is your accuracy focus. And both of these do um, strip you of some defenses. You lose some evasion and some DR, but you just get a lot of AP or accuracy in return. So they're both very, very expensive. They do take two strikes. So they're five bill for each strike. So about 10 bill for each, and I basically only advise these if you're feeling super confident um, in your gameplay, because you are going to be a lot squishier, more vulnerable. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for these PvP Lightstones. There are a lot more sets out there, but I think for pretty much every class, not just sort that these are the best options that you're pretty much going to see throughout the entire community of people that you talk to. Before I end, though, I would like to kind of throw out my recommendations and what I run that are my favorites that you maybe want to copy yourself or work towards getting because some of these are a bit more expensive. So for the budget option, I really like Enhanced Focus. I think it's the best budget option. It's only about 20 mil. Um, it gives you a little bit of accuracy, a little bit of AP, some stamina. But just think that this is the best overall for if you can't spend, you know, several billion for um, one of the different sets. I think it's really solid. It's what I ran for a very long time before I could afford the more expensive ones. So my favorite expense ones are going to be all out attack and target openings. I think if you're just looking for overall best solid choice, target openings kind of fits every category. You can use it as for T1 and cap siege because of the plus 6% crit damage. Also gives you a bit of stamina, gives you AP, gives you accuracy. You basically can't go wrong running target openings. And my other favorite now that I've just recently got is all out attack. It gives you only AP and crit damage while you lose DR and evasion. I'm a really big fan of this set. I feel like I do a lot more damage, although it does make me a lot more squishy. So like I said before, this might not be the set for you. And it is also a very large investment. So those are just my personal favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. And catch you in the next one.